Hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Yes, I'm at work. Yeah, let's have dinner. 8 p.m. is perfect. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Hello? Yeah, working. Yeah, 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 coming home for dinner. Okay, 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 8 p.m. Okay, bye. When we talk to our friend, to a member of the opposite sex, or to our parents, the words we use can roughly be the same, but those words can sound incredibly different. Our tone alone can make people feel special, or it can make them feel like they're not very important at all. When it comes to communication, our tone of voice makes a world of difference. And the biggest irony is, it is usually towards the people we love that our tone of voice is the flat the most impatient or the most disinterested. Maybe we feel like we need to be ourselves when we speak to family, but that's not even being ourselves because being grumpy, being impatient and being inconsiderate is being the worst version of ourselves. And we allow the worst of ourselves to emerge in front of the people we love the most. How does that even make sense? We need to work backwards. What is our objective in our relationship with this person? What does he or she mean to us? If we want a person to feel loved, cared for or special, then our tone of voice needs to reflect that even when we're in a rush or in a bad mood. We're able to do that with our friends, with our colleagues or new lovers because we want to make a good impression. But with family, in our relationship and marriage, we don't have to make a good impression. That's why it's harder to make that effort. We always assume that the people we love knows how much we love them. But the question is how? How would they know? Through action, and tone of voice is an action. If every time they speak to us, it's okay, 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 and then they turn around and see us speaking nicely to other people, how would they feel? How we say something matters so much more than we think, and it is so powerful that it can change our relationship with our husband, wife, and family members. Even if it feels weird or strange to talk to the people we love, like how we speak to our friends, remember that the recipients won't feel strange or weird. The person hearing it will just feel good. It's not just what you say, it's how you say them. And this can influence the people we love to be sad or to be happy, always. 